John Hoyle says Trump supporter, but he should be he should put a black man into his cabinet. Why should he put a man into his cabinet just because he's black? Listen, listen, listen. We have to stop identity politics. I am not a fan of identity politics. If Trump was to have a whole cabinet of black people because they were the best qualified for the job and the most loyal to what it is that he promised voters, then I would be okay with it. If Trump had all white people in his cabinet, for the exact same reason, because they were the best capable for the job and he would be, they would be loyal to what he promised vo voters, I would be okay with it. But to put a person in the cabinet because they are white, or to put a person in his cabinet because they are black, or to put a person in his cabinet because they are Indian, or whatever it is that you want to identify as, is wrong. I don't believe in diversity, equity, and inclusion. I believe in the most qualified person for the job is the person that should get the job to further what he promised American voters. I am not. And let me repeat this for the people in the back. I don't care who you are, what your sexual orientation is, or what you were born as, as far as the things that you can't control, woman, man, gender, whatever. I don't support it. I don't care about diversity, equity, and inclusion. Because here's the question. How many of y'all, how many of y'all will say, you know what? This is for my black people. This is for my black people. How many of y'all will say, you know what? We got an all-black organization here. We got an all-black organization. We got the Black Panthers time 270, 230,000 version of the Black Panthers. We got All Black Lives Matters. We got a black barbershop. We got a black beauty salon. We got a black company. We got this all black organization. We got blackity black Afrotech. How come there isn't more diversity here? How many of y'all are saying that we have to have a white man or a white woman in this organization in order to balance things out? Here's my other question. Ooh, we about to get uncomfortable right now. Is Anton is going to say some things that y'all don't like to hear, but we just going to have this conversation. Black women voted for Kamala Harris at a 91% clip. Why should he even include y'all if he decided that he want to participate in diversity, equity, and inclusion in the first place? I think he should be more apt to pick a Latino man or a Latino woman an Asian man or Asian woman. Remember that y'all all wanted to be people of color in order to embolden and empower your movement? Remember that? Oh, you got selective memory. Wait a minute. I thought that y'all hated him. Why do you want representation in a cabinet that you hate? I'm just asking a question. I'm just asking a question. Why do you want representation of a cabinet that you hate? I just watched The View and Sonny Holston and Whoopi Goldberg and whoever that person was in the middle, and they said I would never meet with Trump. I'm not interested in having a conversation, even if there, there are some things that we can agree on or there are some things that we can disagree on. Why should he represent you when you didn't show up to the polls for him? Oh, now he all of our president because I was just listening to y'all make songs about how he ain't y'all president. Y'all not represent him. Y'all don't rock with him. You don't care about what he do. You don't really care. You can't wait to get him out in four years. I see people on social media every single day that say that they hate him. So why should he represent your interests when you wasn't interested in voting for him? Now, I'm not saying that he can't or he shouldn't pick the most qualified person for the job, but that's my stance as a person that actually voted for Trump and J.D. Vance, not based off of identity politics, because I don't care. Let me ask you another question, just for the people in the back, just for the people in the back. I'm just asking questions. I'm not posing a scenario. You can feel how you want to feel. I really don't care what you feel, because I'm going to say what I'm going to say anyway. Let me ask you all another question, 
just for the people in the back. Let's say hypothetically that he puts a black man into his cabinet. How does that change your life? I'm going to look in the chat and see what's going on. If he puts a black man or a black woman into the cabinet, how does that affect you personally? How does that change your life? How does that change your ability to be able to earn if you got to pay overtime on taxes? If an illegal migrant is going to be coming into your home? If you're going to get more funding for the police in your area? If you have a safety measure or a safety issue? If you're going to have more infrastructure being put into your, your community? I'm just, I'm, and I'm just asking a question. How does that affect you? Why do you need somebody that looks like you in order for you to feel good about yourself? Man, I don't give a piss about who is who and what is what. I go where I want to go when I want to go, and I don't care who is there. I'm there. That's the only thing that matters. I'm there. I'm there. So that means that the representation is there because Anton is there. I, Anton represents Anton's best interest. How is your family dynamic and structure going to change? Because you see somebody, because I see, for example, you saying ben Carson, ben Carson as a Surgeon General. I think that Ben Carson is one of the most phenomenal minds on the face of this planet. If y'all have ever read his book, if you've ever studied Ben Carson, if you understand who he is, Ben Carson is a genius. Trump had Ben Carson as a, as a part of his administration the last go round, and guess what y'all did? Y'all hated him for it. You know what you called Ben Carson? You called him out of his name. You disrespected him. He's one of the most brilliant men to walk the face of this earth. He has a history and a, and a legacy. Most of y'all don't even know anything about Ben Carson, but a lot of y'all, and this is not to you, John Hoyle, but you asked the question, so I got to speak to the majority. Most people hated Ben Carson. That's a part of the community. Y'all called him all kind of negative things, but y'all expect for there to be representation inside of the cabinet. Y'all hate Ben Carson. You wouldn't even let him on CNN. You wouldn't even have, let him have a conversation on MS, MSNBC. Ben Carson should have been all on ABC, MSNBC, CNN, so on and so forth. And y'all hate Ben Carson. So why should he have any representation? Why would Ben Carson lower his earnings to go and be a part of something, to represent something for somebody that don't even care nothing about him. You say blacks supported him and he should so show loyalty back. How? Where? Now, there's a small minority of us that voted red and supported Trump. But I'm going to just tell you, when I went to the Pistons game and I sat courtside at the Pistons and the Lakers and I had my Make America Great Again hat on, the only people that had my back, there was people there that had been rocking with me at the Pistons game for a long time. And the first thing that they said to me is, oh, man, I can't even rock with you, man. I don't even want to stand next to you right now. I was like, so? I'm richer than you. I'm doing you a favor with any visibility that you get as a result of standing next to me. You should be. You on the losing side, dog. Ask Rita. I told him. Oh, man, I can't believe you got that. I can't stand next to you right now. Okay, that's cool. Well, if you can't stand next to me when I'm rocking like this, then don't try to stand next to me when I'm up there. Depart from me. I never knew you. All of the black people... That said that they rock with me. Oh, man, I love your show. I rock with you. You're the greatest. Ah! I can't stand next to you, man. So that's cool. The police officers came up to me and said, oh, man, I love you so much. White people came up to me and said, oh, man, I can't believe you actually did it. That's great. Now my son want to meet you. Can my son meet you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, I watch your YouTube. Can you give me some talking points on how it is that you can do it? Y'all said I don't rock with you. Now you want representation. Why? You followed your women to the polls. You followed your woman to the polls. Now you want representation inside of the cabinet. How? 
Black supported him. Now he should show loyalty back. Who? AKAs? The Divine Nine? <laughs> Yo, family? My family said that we hate him and he's an Antichrist. Now you want representation. Why? You ain't going to vote for him next election either. It wasn't y'all that carried him into the White House. It wasn't the black community that carried him into the White House. That's a fact. Exit polls show differently. The data shows differently. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris made sure that she gave Al Sharpton, she got a half a million dollars. Roland Martin got $350,000. Oprah, she actually, Harpo Productions got double. They didn't get $1 million, they got $2.5 million. Everybody got paid that was a part of the boule. Stole y'all money and gave it to them. And they lied to y'all and told y'all that that was the best thing for y'all. Why should he have y'all inside of the cabinet? That's all I'm saying. I think that the person that should be in the job should be the person that's the best for the job. And if you just so happen to be black or white or woman or man, then listen, do the job that we appointed for you to do. I don't give a piss if you taking it and you a bottom. Do your job. Don't push your agenda of what you got going on inside of your household on us and make America great again. All that other stuff, you can keep that to yourself. Don't give a piss about what color you are. You know what color I am? Green. I'm about my bag, man. I'm a bag chaser. Bag chasers. I'm a chaser. Give a piss about your color. I don't need you to represent me. I represent myself. I'm a grown man. I walked up in the party with my balls out. Give a piss about no rep. I need somebody that look like me inside of the White House. I don't. I need somebody that's going to shut up and do their job. I don't need you all loud, wearing your bonnet, clapping your hands, snapping out dreams. I don't need that. All right? Don't y'all see what's happening with representation in, inside of Chicago? Don't worry about it. I'll show y'all.